a live wire information system. Dr. Ashwini Kumar was assigned the task of developing a computer-based management information system by the Deputy General Manager, DGM, of Commercial Department. The department was following manual system thus far. Dr. Kumar had joined the department back recently after study leave. A young colleague who met Dr. Kumar winked and told him in his usual jovial manner, you can't design an effective computer-based information system here. Dr. Kumar could not interpret his joke until he experienced it itself. The company had acquired another company recently which had a very formal system of recording all transactions, performance data, etc. at every stage and function thanks to elaborate paperwork that was transferred from British collaborator. The parent company had Russian collaboration and due to language difficulties, the paperwork of a formal system was not transferred. The information system in, the, in parts, at least, was very informal and oral. One Mr. Yogesh was transferred as senior commercial engineer from Indore plant of the acquired company. He replaced Mr. Sogi, a commercial engineer and trusted assistant of the DGM in the motor sales division. One day, the DGM called Mr. Yogesh and asked, DGM, Mr. Yogesh, what is the outturn, that is production, of motors in the last month? Mr. Yogesh, sir, I'll check the files and let you know. DGM, what is this? You don't know? I can't tolerate it. I want live wire information system. Call Mr. Rastogi. Mr. Rastogi enters. DGM, Mr. Rastogi, what is the outturn of motors in the previous month? Mr. Rastogi, turning pages of his diary. Sir, it was 24 motors. DGM, see Mr. Yogesh, I want efficient live wire executive like Mr. Rastogi. He gave me sitting by side of Mr. Rastogi that Kumar noticed the page Mr. Rastogi referred was a blank one. How could Mr. Rastogi have information when he was not even dealing motor sales now? Dr. Kumar continued his efforts to design computer-based MIS. The company supplied various equipment for thermal and hydropower plants, motors, controls, and other equipment to industrial customers. Components and assemblies varied in size and value from few thousand to few millions of rupees. Their number supplied annually ran into thousands. Dr. Kumar designed computer-based programs which required collection of data from production department, multiply it with rates for each item to get monetary value of the items produced during the month, aggregate them account headwise, fetch the formula for cumulative production and put alongside the budgeted figures calculating variances to arrive, arrive at final production report. To have the trial done, he asked four men of the workshop to give figures of production of various components and assemblies for the previous month. The four men inquired, which one, sir? Dr. Kumar was a bit surprised and asked, are there more than one figures? The four men replied, yes, sir. You want actual art? or what we are declaring this month. Every month we declare production in the month, which is not necessarily actual one. Dr. Kumar was taken aback and asked, give me actual figures. On receiving the information, he completed final report and gave the printout to the DGM. The DGM was quite annoyed. After seeing the report, 
he told Dr. Kumar, what? The achievement last month is only 70% of the budget? I can't take it to the executive director. He will kill me. Do something to make it at least 90%. Dr. Kumar was perplexed at DGM's request. He wondered how to do what DGM asked for, given that there were thousands of components and assemblies. Declaring total production at aggregate level close to budget in financial terms might be working in manual system, but how to manipulate it in a computerized system was beyond his comprehension. No wonder when a new general manager from the acquired company took over the arena of the plant in his first address to the executives, he said, you people have declared so much so that if we had to make up the deficit between actual and declared, we had to declare one whole year as a production holiday.